Are you ready to destroy something, David? Perhaps destroy at least a couple of the humans? No. A couple? I'm ready to destroy all the humans. All the humans? So you're saying you're ready to destroy all humans? Nailed it. High five. We did it. We dropped the title. Let's go. We're done. <laughs> High five myself, guys. We're doing it. Let's do this shit. Hmm. <laughs> yes. You know what? We'll save this one. We'll actually keep this on our memory cards so we don't have to exercise the PS2 afterwards. A silhouette. Not a silhouette. Hi, Hi friend. No. I don't think that's true. I don't think this guy knows the title of the game. Beyond the stars. I like the second game a lot better because it takes place in the 60s and that's much more fun to make fun of. Oh yeah, because everyone's a hippie. This is like yeah. 50s Roswell. Yeah. And then like... Because everyone's just serious after the war. Exactly. And then after Destroy Humans 2, everything got shitty. Which is really too bad. Like, Destroy Humans Path of the Fear on the one on the 360 could have been really fun. But nope, it's not. Can't stop it, you dick. Oh no, it's a nuke. I think we just nuked an alien. Okay. Oh shit. Oh my god. This is not great animation. <laughs> I don't know what it is. There he is. What an idiot. I hope girls were watching. I forget his name. Mitchell. I don't think it's Mitchell. Mitchell the uh... I don't think you're right. Damn it, Sam. Mitchell. Damn it, Mitchell. <laughs> yeah, that's the big thing that we can't do with cloning. It's just everything gets degraded as you clone it. Everything gets, like, just worse and worse. There was a Family Guy episode... Where Stewie makes a clone of himself, this is like really, really nice, but he's really dumb. And he calls him Bitch Stewie. Oh yeah, that's right. He's fucking great. I remember seeing that. Crypto. One of my favorite things in the second game is that they very, very, very blatantly imply with the, basically everything you can do without saying it. That version of Crypto has a dick, so he spends all of his time on Earth during the 60s so he can just bang hippie chicks. What? <laughs> yep. And, and they give him a dick in the next game? Yeah, and the United States government is like, and this new clone of Crypto has the worst thing we can imagine, simply called The Package. And it shows Crypto giving a huge thumbs up. <laughs> and I'm like, ugh. Oh. Patience, Mitchell. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not Mitchell. No, it's great. I always wish there were more alien games with dicks. Earth. Earth. The planet. It's weird because that's the voice of Zim. Oh, God, really? Yeah. It's awesome. How do I start? Archives? Archives?
I just, where's the where's the game start? I don't, I don't know. Which one does which one starts the game? Uh, hangar. Yeah, there you go. There we go. We nailed it. Invade. <laughs> Love how it said invade instead of start. I like I'm so that. So glad. I like. I don't know. These games are actually pretty legitimately funny. And then Saints Row 4 kind of continued the trend that the, these games start with the fucking weird-ass guns. <laughs> like, they really aren't that effective, but they're funny. I like, um, what is it, from, like, the third or whatever one, whatever the newest one came out, they have the dubstep gun. Yeah, that was Saints Row 4. The dubstep game and, was fucking and, like, hilarious. And, like, if you shoot it anywhere towards any person ever, they'll just start twerking. Yeah, it was, so, it was ineffective, though. Well, that's... It's not meant to do anything. It's just hilarious. Like, like, a lot of the weapons in Saints Row 4 were very ineffective. I didn't really enjoy Saints Row 4 that very much. Like, I thought it was funny, and, like, I enjoyed the story, but the gameplay itself I was a bit bored by. I like Saints Row 2 and 3 just because of the fucking insane amount of customization. <laughs> wow. They haven't really nailed the voice acting yet for this crypto fella. This Mitchell fella. <laughs> Mitchell. Damn it, Mitchell. Skipped. Get your shit together. Oh, yeah, no, that's him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I told you. What's up, yo? The jetpack is really fun in the... In the second game, like, you start out, like, really, really shitty... And you get way better at your ability, your alien abilities, and it's fucking awesome. So it RPGs it? Basically, yeah. And it's awesome, because, like, at the beginning, you can't even make it. You can barely make it to the top of buildings. And by the end, you're fucking, like, pushing the edge of the skybox with your jetpack. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, it's Does awesome. Does it level up, like, as you use it, or what? Yeah, like, the more you... Like, this PK thing, at the beginning, you can only lift people and small objects. Then you get start to be able to lift cars. Then you can fucking lift tanks and shit. Huh. Sweet. Into the sky. I see I can't quite lift this truck yet. But this cow. I just fucking threw it. That cow. That cow's gonna get fucked up. I don't even, like, hide my ship. <laughs> Whatever, these... 50s farmers, they don't know things. Am I supposed to just throw them? Yep. <laughs> Goodbye, <laughs> cruel world! <laughs> Fucking snapped his neck. I'm so cruel. <laughs> Concentration. There we go, I'm learning things. <laughs> We're learning. We're getting there. We're getting there. Our cow pushing abilities are getting better. Oh, I just drowned that one. What a moron. Oh, shit. Oh, no, a cutscene. Oh, God, no. What happens now? The farmer's done banging his daughter. Oh, shit. That's not steak, that's an alien! That's an alien. Also, this gun, the zap matic in the second one, gets so fucking good. Like, just, like, one zap kills him. At the beginning, you have to, like, fucking waste the whole entire, like, round on a person. And then finally they zap. die. Like, most of your fights with the army require you running away. And then, like, by the end of the game, when you go back to, like, San Francisco and you're facing the army, it gets fucking crazy. Now, I like the fact that there are five open worlds in that. They're all pretty different. But the last one makes the mistake of it being really bad because they wanted the funny location. Why? Like, the last location is the moon. Eh. And it's, like, just boring. Extract his brain. I forgot you do that. Then they just explode out of their body. Just because I can. But, no, like, the last two locations are Russia in the 60s. And it sucks, and there's nothing fun about it. And then the moon, which is even more sucky. Because there's nothing fun about it. It's just the moon. Yeah, the moon is the most boring possible place you can go in space. 
It's the worst. No one fucking likes the moon. Hey, dweeb. But, uh, no, the moon was fucking boring. Like, the, the first one is San Francisco, the second one is London, the third one is, like, a, like, uh, kind of, like, Japan, like, suburb with a big kind of Tokyo-like city. And the final okay. boss in Tokyo is a giant fucking, like, Godzilla-like creature. Alright, that's, that's like, pretty fun. Those are really, really fun, and I enjoy those ones. But then it gets to Russia, and they introduce these weird, like, fucking, like, mutant creature things that are fucking awful to fight, and it's not fun anymore. So the first, like, three-fifths of the game is really fun. <laughs> and the last bit just gets, like, fucking shitty. Wow. Ms. Turnip Seed, wow. I don't think so. <laughs> I do love that they overestimate the humans' abilities in this game. Like, I always find that funny when aliens, like, think we're fucking geniuses when we're actually we're just idiots. <laughs> yeah, we're pretty stupid. This is one of my favorite, like, concepts in, like, alien things. <laughs> when aliens are like, if humans got it, you don't even know. Like, he's like, what is this? A new type of sack on or whatever? It was like, crypto, that a human is trying to enter your ship. Go fuck like, him up. It's like, no. Go fuck up that chicken. With your penis. Nailed steal it. the pe Steal the chicken brain. That brain is mine. I nailed it. And the second game, yeah. I don't know, I only played the second game. I never played this one. But, uh, and the second one, one of the weapons is the, uh, it's an anal probe. Wow. And it's pretty, like, funny, but it's very ineffective. Like, the most effective thing is, like, an asteroid gun. Like, you shoot, like, an area and, like, wait a few seconds, and then a giant fucking meteor shower hits that area and destroys everything that's right there. And it's, like, the most fucking effective thing ever. And it's, like, your third weapon that you get out of the, like, five. What? And it's, like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's, like, this is fucking, like... Oh, no. Yay. I forgot that they give you full control, too. It's nice. I like it. I like vehicle sections where you get the full control. I think that's a weird specific thing to enjoy, but I like it. I know, these games are pretty fun. <laughs> it's a weird concept, but I am having fun right now. Oh, I can land it right here. Yay! I'm enjoying myself. Dave, are you having fun? <laughs> it's nice seeing, like, this game again, because I, I didn't really remember it from the last time I played. And it's nice that it's actually kind of fun still. Yeah. Like, it's awful when games that you played, like, a while ago and you remember having fun with aren't fun anymore. That's always fucking awful. Yeah. But this is still... I'm, I'm still enjoying myself. I still like the second one better so far, but whatever. Nice to see the original. Gonna fucking shock this dude up. I'm so mad because this clone of me doesn't have a dick. <laughs> this clone of me doesn't have a penis. And spoiler, what happens at the end of this game is you become the American president. <laughs> you are the president of the United States. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right, because you take over his mind. Yeah, and all you do is sit around banging chicks. Well, you just turned out to be Bill Clinton or JFK. <laughs> Good old JFK. Not like BHO that we've got right now. <laughs> Barack Hussein Obama. 
More like Barack Insane Obama. More like, oh, oh shoot. Hey lady. <laughs> Sup, bitch? You're mine now. <laughs> I'm gonna keep you. I wish I could drive this vehicle. I can't lift it. It's too heavy. I can lift, lift this that, though. though. Oh, shit. Oh, Dave, she's dead. What am I gonna tell the police? Oh, my God. You killed them, too. I'm gonna... Upskirt? <laughs> I'm gonna freak out. You're gonna stare <laughs> into the void. The void that is the human vegan. I've already lost my ship. I don't know. Anyway, I think we're gonna call it here. I think we're gonna go on here.